uh what's the word gang uh here you want to get into some anime but you don't know where to start it's a pretty big step because there's so many anime out there you want to choose the right ones for the initial watch you don't want to watch anything to give you a bad impression that can completely kill your interest right well good news bro i'm here real nigga here i'm here to be your non-judgmental friend and guide you into this beautiful and vast world of anime it's a lot of enjoyable stuff out there to watch. If you're on the internet, be careful. The internet be having some of the most dog shit opinions available, and you can easily be convinced to watch some bullshit on your first watch. And I'm here to prevent that, because I want you to enjoy yourself and guide you the best way that I can. We're gonna break this into three phases and six steps so we can gauge your mentality along the way of the journey. Phase one is gonna be the transitional pre-weave phase. Phase two is gonna be the curious semi-weave phase. When you graduate and reach phase three is gonna be the explorational master prestige weave phase. Now that I got the whole system laid out, are you ready to take the first step? Cool, gang, let's get you right. Love you forever, but sometimes we seem to disagree. Pray that you protect the end that creates my sympathy. I'm a mini you, one day I'll have a mini me. I'm your son, I shouldn't treat you like an enemy. I get annoyed when you point out all my family. So, step one. Since you're new to anime, we want you to start off with some of the most approachable anime possible. And I know you're thinking like, what about DBZ? What about Naruto? What about Bleach? We'll get that, my boy. I just don't want you to take on such a huge commitment for your very first show. In my opinion, the first anime you watch is extremely important. Depending on what kind of person you are, it can damn near do irreversible damage to your perspective on the genre as a whole, and I don't want that. My first anime was like DBZ and Yu-Gi-Oh, and a lot of people like, like me watched it on like four kids week by week, so it worked out. But if you've never seen a lick of anime before, don't do that shit yet, gang. Don't bend and watch Dragon Ball Z. I wouldn't recommend it. I want you to look towards something more like shorter and a bit newer like the Jutsu Kaisen, Demon Slayer, hell, even like some newer like Undead Eye Luck can work out too. Or if you're leaning towards more like the slice of life genre, which basically slice of life means that nothing that's super fast paced and more like people living their everyday lives type shit, interactions at school, work with family and friends type shit, something like that. I will check out Horror Mia, uh, Asylum Voice, I Wanna Eat Your Pancreas, and More Than a Married Couple. I'm pretty into shit like retro gaming and fighting games, so High Score Girl is another really good one if you're into shit like that, if you like me. If you want to make sure of both slice of life and action, I think Spy Family would be really perfect for you as the first show. Or maybe you like really big into sports. I would go to some newer like uh, Blue Lock. Yeah, it's a soccer anime and I know what you're thinking, but man, I don't like no damn soccer. Trust me, my nigga. I will not guide you in the wrong place. But it's not just like limited to these. I also recommend like Freer and Beyond Journeys and is a really good one. That's a more of a slow burn one. So like it's a little bit slower paced than you might want. So, but if you like just want to appreciate the story, Free Read is a really good show. The Studio Ghibli movies, the Makoto Shinkai films, Your Name, Weather World with You, Suzume. And someone in my comments on my race video actually said like a race is a pretty good one too. And I totally agree. I think that's a really good first show for somebody to watch. Basically, you want to focus on something shorter that can give you a bunch of story in a smaller amount of time. Focus on these shows and finish some of these shows for step one. If you're anything like me, you'll be talking about how good they are to your anime friends and your anime friends will be really proud you took this step folks now let's move on to step two so now if you finish your first couple anime you're gonna start seeing more anime posts on the internet because facebook and twitter is watching all of us nick <laughs> you're gonna start engaging with posts like that and that's fine but for the love of god my nigga do not go into them comments and don't interact with any of these groups of communities at least not yet it's a good reason why i advise this watching anime comes with the community and the community can be an evil place if you don't navigate it correctly. Gary, it's an evil world we live in, for it's a scary place out there. And I want you to enjoy the art form before you interact with the people, if that makes sense. Talk and interact with your like level-headed anime watching friends and finish a couple more short ones and maybe throw in like a cyberpunk and a comic got killed or one punch man to get you used to the variety that anime has to offer. And maybe if you feel like you're ready, I say watch something that takes more of a commitment or something a little longer like Black Clover, Attack on Titan, or My Hero Academia. After you finish one or two more, you've officially like graduated out of the transitional phase. So congratulations, gang. Now, let's move on to phase two, step three. You're officially a semi-weave, gang. Yeah, clap it up for yourself, my nigga. Clap it up, clap it up. You made it out the hardest step in the process because a lot of people weren't able to do what you just did. Remember when you was asking about the OG shows earlier? 
Now it's about that time to watch one. I will go with one of the bigger ones for your first OG show. So I'm thinking like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach is a valid option as well. Now before you watch these shows all the way through, keep in mind that these animes have something called filler. So filler is basically episodes that aren't really essential to the main story. Some of these filler episodes can be canon or non-canon. Canon means that it's relevant to the main story and the material is actually taken from the manga, which is source material for the show if you didn't know. Non-canon means that it's not very relevant to the main story and it's not necessarily from the manga at all. There's something that's slightly in between called anime canon so usually anime takes everything from the manga story wise and just go by that sometimes sometimes anime adds something that wasn't in the manga in a sense to improve upon the source material you do not have to watch any of these filler episodes if you don't want to i didn't i have still like the same great experience but a lot of people do watch them anyway because it's more time with the universe and the characters they love so it's perfectly fine too this step isn't necessarily for og shows either i would just say like in this phase and this step i will try out like longer shows something like fairy tale will suffice as well now go get them gang this is a tall task but this is what you've been prepared for now let's move on to Step four. Damn, Scud, you back already? Uh, that was kind of fast. Well, congrats, my nigga. You finally finished your first OG anime. You've now unlocked the meaning of Naruto running the school or random attempts of niggas trying to pull up a Kamehameha. I, I didn't do that shit in public, but you understand why people tried to. You say you want to watch another one? Well, I got good news for you. That's this step two, but I want you to watch something like an OG sleeper. So we're going to watch Yu Yu Hakusho. Watching the English too. I usually let people decide like between sub and dub for the preference, but you gotta watch Yu Yu Show in English, G. You have to. Yu Yu Hakusho is one of those shows that I think pretty much everyone enjoys when they watch it. And I think it's just an essential like OG vibe to catch. It's one of those shows that I've rarely seen bad things about. And this is an anime that I think every anime fan should watch eventually in my opinion. It's really that good and really that much of a classic. This one is more of like a preference builder to see what individual direction that you want to go in but af after this one we move on to the final phase phase three look at you my nigga you are in the final phase and i clap it up for my nigga he came up fast as hell folks so this may be a surprise to you but in this step i want you to choose something that looks interesting to you it could be any anime you might have seen a clip online you could have heard about it you could just close your eyes and just pick it it don't really matter now i want you to watch enough of your choice so you can see if you like it or not if you like it cool you know what your taste are you can form let your own opinions based off your own preferences if you didn't like it cool you know what self taste are and you can formulate your own opinions based off your own preferences but this is where you find like shit other people don't really like vibe with like you is this is where you start getting the shit you normally wouldn't get any like recommendations for it so stuff like fall kill the five elements high school dxd horny ass nigga and shit like summertime render see this step was about growing individually in the anime community it's, it's way rarer than you might think authentic individuality is hard to come by the anime community sometimes because there's a lot of trolls there's a lot of people that just want attention so they'll say anything to just to get it now that you have your own opinion it won't phase you and you know what you like and you know what you don't like you already had a lot of niggas folk and you know how to use your own brand, not just hop on the hate train brainlessly. So good job. Now, final step, step six. You have reached the final step game. You know what I want you to do? Roam and watch whatever the fuck you want. You have your own opinion now. You're going to have a different list of shows than other people, so you'll have something to talk about and recommend. Yeah, you know what that means. It's time to interact with the anime community. Now, as you have your own opinion and your own taste, you won't be told, like, what to like and what not to like. Your trainer has paid off, G, and I think, nah, no, I know that you're ready to navigate through this community. Be humble, but don't let nobody tell you what you like and what you don't like. You are a vet, and though... I may have been your guy. We are on the same level, my nigga. There's no elitism or no weird shit like that either. Them niggas need to wipe their ass and do that shit. Welcome to my beautiful, dark, twisted anime community. You are, you've been a great student, and you are just as important in this community as I am. You've always been. Thank you for trusting me to introduce you to this broad and beautiful world, folks. As always, man, I hope y'all have a great day, man. Love y'all, man. Peace. I'm a mini you, one day I'll have a mini me. I'm your son, I shouldn't treat you like an enemy. I get a no.